Jackson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually put magnets inside of your prints. And there's lots of models out there that have you just glue the magnets on the outside of your print. In this video, I'm going to show you put how to put them inside of your prints using Bedmo Studios. So you can use any STLO model you want to make it a refrigerator magnet or anything else. And I found this simple gecko on Make World. Open in Bedmo Studio. And again, you can use any model you want, but make sure it's big enough to put the magnets inside. So once it's loaded in, full screen it, make sure it's the correct printer. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to right click on that object and press add negative part. And we're going to make it a cylinder. And then click on the cylinder and click this button right here to let you scale it. And then we're going to make this as big as our magnet. So we're going to make this 11 millimeters. And then you're going to ununiform scale. So we're just going to make it 3 millimeters. And then so what you're going to do, you're going to click on your object, the hole. You're going to click this button right here that's going to let you move it around. And then you're going to move it into your object. Move it down with a blue arrow. And then you're going to move it inside of your object. And then I suggest to have it outward so you can see where it is. Once you feel happy with that, you can go ahead and bring that into the center. You can slice, slice plate. What Ben Studios can do, you can drag this on the side. And you can see our hole is right there in the middle. So we're going to find the layer right before it closes it in. So it's this and the next layer it tries to close it in. So we're going to do this layer. Then you're going to right click right here where that layer is. And you're going to click add pause. And then to bring that back up, press slice plate again. It's going to slice it. And now we're going to go print it. So once it pauses, this is the screen that you're going to get. So now we're going to take our magnet and also use some super glue. So we're going to put a drop of super glue in the middle. And now we're going to get our magnet. Place it in. We're going to wait about five minutes and then we're going to resume it. I hope you found that video helpful, and I'll put the link for the magnets in the description if you want to buy those. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, Jackson out.